Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. In today's video, we are up to chapter one, certain infectious and parasitic diseases, which can be found at codes A00 through B99. Chapter one identifies the organisms that are responsible for infection. Guys, as we move forward, I want you to apply yourselves to these chapters. I've laid the foundation in the first 30 videos that we've got so far on this channel um, with the beginning rules to coding that can be recalled. For example, I've already informed you that a principal diagnosis is that which after study was found to have occasioned the patient in the hospital. We've talked about a principal procedure. We've talked about additional diagnoses. All of these can be recalled. But as we move forward, into the more specific body systems and, bo and diseases of these um, body systems, you're going to have to apply yourself. What do I mean by apply yourself? I too struggled when I was in coding school. When I finished, I was lost. I felt like I had studied just enough to pass my test, but I felt like I really didn't know anything because I didn't apply myself. So as I discuss topics in each of these chapters moving forward, each of these videos that I do moving forward, I want to teach you how to apply yourself. And what do I mean by that? I mean to really ponder over what I'm discussing in the video. And you'll be amazed how that will strengthen your coding skills. I couldn't see it. I've been in this profession 25 years and I had to actually go back and reteach myself coding. So rather than allow you guys to struggle. I want to teach you what I've learned to do since I've gotten into the profession. I want to teach you how to apply yourself. So as we cover topics, Google, pull out a medical dictionary, look at signs and symptoms of disease processes, learn your medications. I was amazed when I started reading a chart as, as I started studying, I could pick up on diagnoses just by the medications the patients were on. Sometimes a physician would forget to tell me that the patient was a diabetic. But because of the patient being on a diabetic medication, I was able to pick up on it. It helped me to pick up a diagnosis and then look and realize, well, he was monitoring the blood sugar the whole time. He was taking care of the diabetes. He forgot to put in his diagnostic statement, but he was treating it. Therefore, it could be captured, okay? So again, as I cover topics in these chapters, apply yourself. So for example, if I tell you that your patient has a urinary tract infection due to E. coli, what does that mean? So if I were to apply myself, I would say, okay, evidently the patient came in, he probably had pain with urination, probably had a fever, probably had abdominal pain and or back pain, the urination, the urine was probably cloudy, okay? So I'm looking at the symptoms that the patient came in with. So what's the protocol for a UTI, a urinary tract infection? Well, to test the urine to determine if there's a culprit, if there's an organism involved. Well, in this case, your physician already told you it was a UTI due to E. coli. Guys, I didn't know when I first started with coding that with infections, you can test the organisms or you can test the site to see if there's an organism or a culprit involved. And then when they determine that it is staph or strep or E. coli, that if they treat that organism, if they kill it, that will heal the infection. I knew it in layman's terms, but I just, it just didn't sink in when I was coding. So I learned with infections, to go to the lab work and see if they tested or looked for an organism. Sore throat, did they test it for strep? Pneumonia, did they test the sputum looking for a culture to treat? So in your case today, we have like a UTI due to E. coli. Everything is given to me right there. So how do I code it? Well, because it's urinary tract infection, remember I always say you don't go to the body part, you go to what's wrong 
with the body part when you're coating. So I go to infection. It's a urinary tract infection. So my main term is infection. Infection where? So my subterm is urinary tract. Well, when I get to infection, urinary tract, I'm looking for additional subterms that identify the culprit or the organism E. coli, but it's not there. But infection, urinary tract gives me the code N39.0. So when I look in my tabular list, I look up the code N39.0, I have a note in red that says, use an additional code B95 through B97 to identify the infectious agent. So that right there tells me I'm going to need an additional code to identify the infectious agent, which in this case is E. coli. So then I look up E. coli. And guys, E. coli is spelled, E. coli is short for Escherichia, E-S-C-H-E-R-I-C-H-I-A, coli. So I can either look up that term as a main term or go to infection and then look up the subterm E. coli. Okay, and it gives me B96.20. So whenever there is an infection, once you locate the main term for the condition, which in this case was UTI, urinary tract infection, we're looking for subterms that identify the culprit, E. coli. It was not there. So I would have to go and look for a main term to identify the infectious agent. Now remember, when you're looking up that cause, that agent, that E. coli, if at, when I went to infection, E. coli, if acute or chronic was identified on the same level as the E. coli, the E. coli takes precedence. It's more specific about that UTI. It's an acute UTI, but it's due to E. coli. So if E. coli, acute, and chronic are at the same level, E. coli will take precedence. So whatever code it gives me at the E. coli is the code that I use. Now if the um, organism is not identified at the subterm for, as a subterm for the condition, remember I went back and I looked up the actual organism itself. So I want to make sure I cover that in detail. We look for the main term for the condition and we look for the cause or the agent. All right, guys, I wanted to make sure I break that down for you. I'm going to be coming right back with a video still in Chapter 1 of certain infectious and parasitic diseases. But I wanted to give you that little tidbit. Learn to love your code books. Learn your code books. Look how it's broken down. But right now, just look into Chapter 1, codes A00 through B99. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.